Hey guys, it's Saving Money with Jazzy. So I just want to come on here and talk about something real serious that happened to me. Um, so I got the app TikTok and I um, had a, you know, I like whoever knows this guy named Fluffy, you know, he's a comedian. So I followed him and he followed me back and he messaged me and he was like, hi. And I was like, oh shit, Fluffy's talking to me. I got excited. So I, talk, I started talking back and he was mentioning like how he's really, he loves his fans and how to connect with his fans and stuff and he always enjoys talking to him and blah 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 and I was like okay cool like I am a big fan so I just started talking to him more and I, he was like well I want you to come down to one of my shows in 2020 and I was like cool I want, I'm down like I'm cool with that he's like well give me your address and I'll send you the tickets to your home and I was like okay he's like but text me to this number it's my roaming number it's the number I use when I'm on tour um you can't call you only can text and I was like okay so I did it um, and I texted him and the number wasn't working and I texted him back on TikTok and I was like, hey, that number don't work, that one that you gave me. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he texted me from a different number and it was a New York number. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'm still believing the fact that he's fluffy. All right, people. I was starstruck. I believed it. I was happy. I was like, oh shit, fluffy's talking to me. I'm gonna get some free tickets. So I kept talking to him and he was asking me questions like, what's your first name? So I told him my first name and he was like, oh, hey, so what do you do for a living? How many kids do you have? Um, stuff like that and I didn't think nothing of it and I was just like maybe he just wants to get to know me you know as a fan so I, I talked to him more and then he was like what are you doing now and I was like oh I'm about to head back to work and he I go what are you doing he's like oh I'm, I'm organizing some things for or orphanage and I'm like oh that's cool you know God's gonna bless you for doing that for those kids and he goes yeah do you know any orphanages in San Diego and mind you I told him I was from San Diego but I was I didn't tell him I was living in Utah so he was like, oh, and I, I looked up some links for him and I sent one over and then he messaged me back. He's like, oh, you think I can send a check to your, to your house and you can deposit it into your account? So right there, I was like, oh shit, what the fuck is this? Like, this isn't what, this ain't Fluffy. I go, who is this? This ain't him. He goes, yeah, it is him. What are you talking about? I go, I'm going to get, I'm going to report you to the police. I go, um, something's going on here. This is not what I thought it was. And he was like. What do you mean? He, I go, well, I'm calling you. You're not answering. It's a fucking text now number. So I know this is something's up. I'm going to report to the cops and I'm going to report to the app to TikTok. And he goes, if you do that, I'm going to send some of my fans so they can fuck you up. And I was like, what the hell? Right there, I started freaking out because that's a threat to me. And I started freaking out. I was like, he has my address. My son's home. I'm scared. You know, I'm pregnant. I'm like, emotional. So I called, my, I called the police station and I asked them, I'm like, what do I do in this in this um, sense? You know, and I thought they were going to make me think, they were going to think I was crazy or something, like a prank. And I was like, no, I made a mistake and blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, oh, we'll have someone call you from your district where you live. And I'm like, okay. So they, by then I was rushing home and I was like, oh shit, like, I need to get home. My son's home by himself. I don't want anything to happen. So I go home and I call my son first. I was like, lock the doors, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't open it. And he was like, why? I'm like, just do it. And I go, I get called my husband. I'm like, this is what happened. My husband's like, don't, don't freak out. You know, it's cause, um, people do this all the time. They scam people. And I'm like, yeah, but this never happened to me before. Like this way, like I heard of people like in their banks and stuff, but not on TikTok, like really. So I rush home and then I get home and I'm freaking out. I'm locking the doors. I'm scared. You know what I mean? Cause that stuff scares me. Like what if they come to the house? Like they have my address, like who knows? What can happen? That's scary. And so I was like, you have no power, really. You can't do nothing. Because you don't know who they are, where they are. You don't know what they're capable of doing. It's scary. So I get home and I'm sitting there waiting for the cop to call me, you know. So the cop eventually called me. And he was just like, it's probably like an empty threat. We get this all the time, you know, scamming people. They usually live in other countries or other states. They're not anywhere near you. And I was like, it's scary because they're using text now. And they can get their own phone number and make up their own number. He goes, yeah, I understand. He goes, so you can, you know, if you don't feel safe, you can go home. And I was like, yeah. So I was like, okay. And then that happened. And then, so then I, you know, I stayed home and I was okay. I didn't even want to go back to work because I was freaking out. So then I was like, I'm going to make a video about this because this is scary. Like there's so many little kids on this app, you know what I mean? And anything could happen. And I'm like, I look at their followers, like 4,000 followers. I'm like, imagine how many people they've done this to and actually gone through with it. So it freaked me out too as well. So then I was like, well, you know what? I'm just going to report them to TikTok. So I reported to TikTok, explained to them what happened. Hopefully they take care of it and get them shut down. And like the signs to look for guys that I noticed now after the fact is that his file on TikTok has one picture, which is on the icon. 
Um, and there's no bio, there's no other videos or other photos. So that could have been a sign right there, obviously. And the fact that he said not to call and only text, that was another sign. And then he's telling me to text him out of the you know, messaging, that's another sign. And also th th those kind of things, I think they leave them at the show for you to pick up, never to your address. So I want you guys to keep alert. You know, if you have kids out there on this app, you need to be monitoring them. So yeah, that was it. She said she too young, no one, no man. So she gon' call her friends, now that's the plan.